everybody, Erica Sterwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. This week I am featuring the new Hey Chuck bundle from the 2023-2024 Stampin' Up! annual catalog. This is the third stamp in the chicken series from Stampin' Up! There was Hey Chick and then Hey Birthday Chick and now we have Hey Chuck. He is adorable and of course we have the matching dies. Well, I got some dimensionals hanging on. We've got the matching dies and they have cute little accessories too. Um, we've got this little um, uh, weather vane and a sun. You've got an edge die, all kinds of fun things. All right, so what is in my treat box this time? Well, how about a chick of stick? Of course, right? That goes perfect. I got these at five below. Um, you can also find them on Amazon. All right, let's start with our box. You're gonna need a four and a half by eight and a half inch piece of Daftil Delight cardstock. And we're gonna score the long side at one, two, three, and four. Turn it and score it at one and a half and seven and a half. Now we're gonna add some tick marks here on these two right here. Um, at the half inch, it's, these are just one inch sections. Make sure you guys can see. And you're gonna put a little tick mark at the one and a half, and then over here at the three and a half. Now, take your, take your pick tool or your stylus and your ruler and from that tick mark, we're gonna do a diagonal line here and here. So you can use a straight edge if you have your bone folder, that will work. Just line it up here and to this corner right here. And then we're gonna do the same if I can get my ruler to behave. And we're gonna do a line straight up there. And then we'll do one here. We're just creating score lines for the pinched part of this box. All right, now you wanna get your bone folder and really burnish these lines. Okay, now this one, I kinda of like to do both ways because we're gonna kind of pop it out and it's gonna to need to be pretty pliable. The one and a half inch section. All right, now, also, where those score lines that you made, just take your fingers and pinch those, okay? And again, I like to pinch on both ways. These are gonna kind of be the pleats in the side of our box. All right, now before we move on, let's put on our designer series paper. This is actually the Le Shops or Le Shops. Uh, suite, the shopping suite, if you will. And I have cut seven eighths by five and seven eighths inch pieces of this designer series paper. And we're gonna put them in each of the sections. My paper looks pretty beat up right now. <laughs> it's okay, it's gonna go together beautifully. All right, so put those down. So seven eighths by five five and seven eighths. There is a free PDF over on my blog that has the measurements for this, the supply list as well, and two other Hey Chuck projects. So make sure you go visit my blog. Now the only cutting we're gonna do, here's the one and a half inch section. We're not gonna do any cutting on that, leave that alone. Come down here though, and you've got this skinny rectangle right here. You wanna cut that off and then Snip all of these lines right here. All right, now, unfortunately, I don't have my tear and tape, so I'm gonna use my stamp and seal. You wanna put your adhesive all the way along that long and skinny line. Fold it over and then fold this over. And now you have basically what is a tube. And these little pleats that you make are gonna allow you to just kind of pinch that box like that. But we need to fold up the, the bottom side too. This is the edge where we fold it over. So I always like to keep that at the back. So fold in the sides first, then adhere the back and then the front. That's gonna give you a nice rounded edge on the front. Now grab your hole punch and just punch a hole. I'm gonna kind of 
open that up like that so that I can see what I'm doing right here. And then I want it to match back here. So I'm gonna just kind of pinch that and punch, all right? Now when I close those up, it's gonna give me a little bit of, you know, it's gonna kind of go in there a little bit, but that's not gonna bother our ribbon. This is a regular sized, like an office hole punch. All right, put your yummy Chico stick down in there and pinch those clothes. I'm gonna use our fun new pecan pie bordered ribbon. And let's weave this through the holes like that. Pinch that closed. And now we'll just tie a bow. All right, there we go. And like that. I can get that ribbon, perfect, there we go. Now grab some nice scissors and cut those ends at an angle. All right, so there's your box. Now, for the star of the show, let's do our Hey Chuck. We're going to stamp him in Memento Black. This is the little chubby rooster. He's kind of, I feel like he's kind of the boss, don't you, of the chicken <laughs> coop. All right, now I'm going to use my stamp and blend, and I've got lots of choices over here. Um, I think I'm going to start with pumpkin pie light. I have colored these tail feathers and the head feathers in many different colors. So make sure you check out. I actually have five total projects featuring these little guys. So make sure you check them out on my blog. All right, so pumpkin pie. And then I think I'll take Cajun craze light and just kind of go up about two thirds of the way like that. And then we'll bring in Cherry Cobbler, just for about a fourth of it. You wanna flick that color out like that. Now he also has this waddle right here that we need to color, Cherry Cobbler. And you know what, I just realized, I also colored his neck the same way. So let's do that, light pumpkin pie. Actually, I'm using dark pumpkin pie this time, aren't I? That'll work. No problem. And then we'll take our Cajun craze and come down like this. All right, I'm gonna leave the cherry cobbler off of that part. Take your Daffodil Delight and color in his beak and his little legs. Just tap that color in there where it's real narrow. Now I see that I forgot his eyelids. I forget those every time. So let's add some color there. Cajun craze. And then I'm just gonna take my crumb cake light and I'm gonna flick some color down like this. Kind of just not real nice and neat. All right, and then take your a uh, color lifter and just blend all that out. It's gonna lighten it up a little bit and smooth it out. There we go. And there's your, your chunky chuck. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna stamp the sentiment. You rule the roost here on the edge in Cajun Craze. All right, let's cut him out. Now, I've already done some die cutting ahead of time. I have cut two um, pecan pie stylus shaped circles, a Daffodil Delight Sun, this is from the Hey Chuck dies, as well as the Silver Foil Weather Vane. We're gonna use our matching die for Chuck. And then I'm gonna use the Dots and Spots die here to add some spots to our smaller stylus shape circle. All right, let's do Chuck first. 
He seems like he's impatient, so we'll do him first. All right, now if your die slides around, you're a little bit worried about it moving, just grab some post-it tape. I've got this linked on my blog. I use it daily. It's a really great tool to have in your toolbox, your stampin' toolbox. There we go. And now we'll do our spots and dots, and I'm just gonna lay that right there. These two circles are the two larger circles in the stylus shape dies. And so this is the second largest. And we'll peel this guy right on out, just to give us kind of some variation. Poke out those circles, there we go. Now, I'm gonna add, I want this circle to be a little bit darker than the other. So I've got my blending brush and my pecan pie. And I'm just gonna kind of add color. Notice how when I pick up the color, I start over on my grid paper so that I don't have a hard bump when I set down my blending brush. All right, there we go. Now, we're gonna use our small Stampin' Blends between the holes. So we'll do maybe four. And with, if you've got nails like me, this could be a little bit tedious, but take your time. Dimensionals are worth it. Add some depth and shadow in your tag. It makes it a little more cute. All right, see how we added a little bit of darker color to that? Now we're gonna take Chuck and we're gonna put him on with a dimensional right in the middle. And remember when we stamp that sentiment right there, well, I'm gonna keep it simple. And I'm gonna grab my trimmer and I'm just gonna slice that off, a thin rectangle. All right. There we go. And we'll take two dimensionals on this guy and put him, put that right underneath like that. And I think we'll just use some liquid glue for our remaining two pieces. I'm gonna slide that behind our chuck. And I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the bottom of this and slide that down as well, right there. <laughs> He's so funny, he looks a little annoyed, doesn't he, a little irritated? Now this little treat would be great to celebrate anybody. You rule the roost is kind of a, hey, you're great, you're awesome type sentiment. You give it to a teacher, um, a coworker, your mailman, your Sunday school teacher, anybody who you just wanna celebrate a little bit. All right, you guys, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, hop over to my blog and grab that free PDF and check out my other two plus two others, two bonus ones on either end of that blog post, Hey Chuck Projects. Thanks everybody, have fun, bye-bye.